Hello everyone, you are watching Blackboard. In our today's lecture, we will discuss about the pathogenesis of fungal infection. Whenever a fungal infection takes place in human body, the response is shown by the formation of granulomas. So what is granuloma? A granuloma is a small area of inflammation and is usually benign. Major systematic fungal diseases such as cocaidomycosis, histoplasmosis, and blastomycosis show the response against fungal infection by forming granulomas. And to protect us, our body exhibits cell-mediated immune response against the fungal pathogen that is involved in the granuloma's formation. In certain fungal diseases such as aspergillosis and sporotrichosis, a response known as acute separation takes place characterized by the presence of neutrophils in the exudate. In fungal infection, exotoxins and endotoxins are not produced that are produced in the case of bacterial infection. The reason behind this is the component of the cell wall of fungi that is chitin, a polysaccharide, not peptidoglycan as in the case of bacterial cell wall. We intradermally inject fungal antigen into the body as a result of which activation of cell-mediated immunity takes place that results in a delayed hypersensitivity skin test response. A positive skin test indicates exposure to the fungal antigen, but it doesn't imply whether it is a current infection or a previous one. A negative skin test makes the diagnosis unlikely unless the patient is immunocompromised. Because of their low immunity, even when they have a fungal infection, they can't exhibit a delayed hypersensitivity skin test response like a healthy individual. To check whether an individual is healthy or is immunocompromised, we perform the skin test using Candida antigen. As we all know that Candida is a part of normal flora, so this will result in the activation of cell-mediated immunity and a positive result shows the individual is perfectly healthy because immunocompromised individual don't show this type of immune responses. Cell-mediated immune response is protective. Its suppression can lead to reactivation, dissemination of asymptomatic fungal infection and diseases caused by opportunistic fungi. Innate immunity to fungi is initiated by dactins and Dectin is a receptor on the surface of macrophages, neutrophils, and dendritic cells. Recognizes beta-glucan on the surface of yeast cells and activates innate immunity against the fungal infection. Intact skin is an effective host defense against many infections. But if the skin is damaged, the organism can cause infection. Fatty acids in the skin inhibits the dermatophytes growth. Hormone-associated skin changes at puberty leave a ringworm of the scalp caused by trichophantons. The normal flora of the skin and mucous membrane suppresses fungi, but when the normal flora is inhibited by antibiotics, the overgrowth of opportunistic fungi such as Candida albicans can occur. Mucous membrane of the nasopharynx and alveolar macrophages, which trap inhaled fungal spores, are the important host defenses in the respiratory tract. Circulating IgG and IgM antibodies are produced in response to fungal infection, but their role in protection from the disease is uncertain. So this is all about today's lecture, and we will discuss about the laboratory diagnosis of fungi in our next lecture. If you like the video, press the bell icon and do subscribe our channel.